<laughs> well, I'd like to offer uh, my own two bits on the uh, whole sub versus uh, dub controversy at this point. And that's uh, by way of looking at the movie um, Armitage 3, or rather the two different versions. Um, let's start out just with the, uh, with the plot synopsis. The setting is in Mars sometime in the dif distant future. Once colonists have um, set up their own cities and started to found their own civilization there. Um, the story centers around the arrival of a uh, detective from Chicago whose name is Ross Silbus. Um, his partner is a sex-crazed ultra-psycho philosopher babe by the name of Naomi Armitage. And together their, um, their quest is to find, out, find the location of a man named Dan Claude who's um, going around killing robots. These aren't just any robots. I should add, these are robots called thirds. Um, they're uh, robots that can uh, not only uh, act intelligently in human society and blend effectively, but they can also reproduce, um, which is, I, I found kind of a hokey thing, but it, uh, it, it uh, goes well with the whole um, plot of the movie. Um, Mars is a society in transition from one that's a colony to one that's an independent nation. And um, the, the writers of the movie should be really complimented for the job they've done handling it. Um, robots are regarded as second-class um, citizens on Mars, even though many of them are self-aware. And hence, Dan Claude, albeit as an extremist, um, certainly sees himself as representing some of the ideals of the uh, Martian uh, civilization to have Mars for the Martians, to uh, have uh, Martians uh, working in their own jobs and the civilization they've created. It's a very, a very good um, OVA series. I believe it's available in both uh, dub and subtitle. The reason that it bears upon the whole sub versus dub plot is that it was originally um, to be entirely in English with Japanese subtitles. Um, <clears throat> this was sort of realized when the, um, when the full-length motion picture, Armitage the Third Polymatrix, uh, came out a few years ago. Um, the dialogue was rewritten and some scenes were cut out, but additional material was added, so it, it makes a pretty smooth uh, plot line on the whole. The problem is that Kiefer Sutherland and Elizabeth Berkeley were uh, targeted to um, play the lead roles. And this is sort of what happened. Listen! Don't mess with me, you little bitch! You'd better get out of here, or I'll call the security gadget. Yeah, I guess it's useless talking to a second like you. Hey! Oh! Whoa! Uh, uh, just canceled that appointment. Uh, Let me go! go. Robots, get out! you! I have Robots, business here! Robots, get out now! Uh, I can't believe this! Put me down right now! Uh, And just what the hell were you trying to accomplish back there? You know, you really should move your car. It might get trashed. Well, now, um, as you can see from this clip that made for an interesting choice of characters, um, Elizabeth Berkeley went on to jump half naked out of a volcano in Showgirls and Keeper Sutherland. Um, well, um, he's been around. I mean, he was in that one dark city that was recently, recently, um, yeah, and stuff. Well, to be perfectly honest, I think that um, adding English language didn't do much for the movie that wasn't there to begin with. The music is great, the plot is still intact, but the voice characterizations just suck. Plain old suck. Between A, potential, and D, results, I would give this movie a C, but I'm not going to. I'm going to give it a B out of sympathy. So about that's all I've got to say about that. Okay, that was pretty. That was really good.